Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it's me again, back with the next in the Transformers Metal Earth kit build stuff that I'm doing. Yeah. So I have today Bumblebee. Bumblebee when he was a Volkswagen Beetle. Which is awesome. Because this is how I remember Bumblebee from the cartoons back in the 80s. He wasn't a Camaro, although a Camaro I guess would have been kind of neat. He was the adorable little Bumblebee. But, let's crack this open and see how difficult it's going to be to put him together. Time to open this puppy up. One sheet. Two sheets. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And as is the case with these kits, the Transformer kits thus far, we have two sets or two sheets of instructions with your usual page one, a little bit about folding tabs, and those pliers are helpful for assembly, a bit about the way the tabs are either um, bent or folded over, twisted or folded over, and the map or layout of the pieces and some color coordination here which I've come to learn those are the same parts same color same parts which is a lot helpful compared to some of the other kits that I've done where it's quite confusing and not clearly laid out you had to search for the same part they would give you you'd find the number and it would point to one part but then there were two parts like that, but the number would only point to one, so you had to hunt down to find the other. Now you can see the different green parts, or the different red parts, and the instructions have been better laid out. You start with page one, it's a little odd though, it's not like a book exactly, because one, two, and then three, four. And then five, six, seven, and eight. And let's get to building. Tools that I use to construct this kit. Number one, tweezers. You're definitely going to need tweezers. You can possibly get by with just tweezers, but I recommend more things. I have the tools set from Fascinations with clippers. They're great for getting the parts off of the trees or spruce. Needle nose pliers and flat nose pliers. Great for bending and shaping. I also have ring pliers, which have rounded tips. Those were good for shaping a couple of the rounded and cone-shaped parts. It's a good idea to have an assortment of dowel rods or pencils or pens, something to shape the uh, circular parts. And I have this paintbrush, which um, tapers, which is very helpful. I also find it useful to have a small knife for bending over tabs and a dental pick to push small bits or pull things out a little bit of shaping early off i noticed that some of the lines pointing to parts overlap and i got confused a couple of times about which part was which number so be careful The first assembly involves some very tiny pieces. With small parts, I sometimes twist tabs in opposite directions in an attempt to get them to set straight and more secure. I use my dental type tool to bend over the small sides of the head after attaching the tabs. Yeah. 
Sometimes I use my fingernails to bend over tabs. I struggled for some time getting all the tabs to line up on Bumblebee's head. I noticed when I bent the side pieces, the narrow strip of metal beside it bent as well, where it wasn't supposed to. I had to take the needle nose pliers and straighten things out. I like to use dowel rods not only to shape the parts, but to bend over the tabs while rolling them against the table. Now the tabs are getting harder to get to. I had to use the knife to bend over a couple of tabs because there just was not enough room to get in there with tweezers or pliers. It would appear that part 16 or 17 are actually reversed on the instructions. I picked up a couple of pair of ring pliers to help with some of the more complex curves and bends. The instructions say to bend several of these tabs outwards, which is a bit odd, but it will come into play later. Getting Bumblebee's back plate on was easy. Getting the two tabs twisted was not. Because there are only two tabs holding it on, I did not want to just fold them over because of the lack of space. I felt they needed to be twisted so that they were more secure. I ended up reluctantly bending his head back to be able to get to them. Because the tabs of the body are on the outside, they should be bent over and not twisted, but this is challenging. 
the area of the tabs are in is so small that it's easy to bend more than just the tabs and warp the part. I had to use something to hold on to this area near the tabs to keep the metal in place while I bent over just the tabs. I noticed after bending over the sides of this part that there were two other parts inside of it that I had to stop and clip out. I use dowel rods to shape round parts. I often start off with dowel rods that are just a little too big and then move on to smaller ones. I find this helps avoid sharp bends and warping parts. I edit this video down from over two hours of footage. It may appear that many of the parts come together easily, but that is not always the case. It often takes several adjustments of the tabs and the pieces to get things to fit properly. The second leg goes together just like the first except mirrored. I did not notice before I assembled the other leg, but the section for the knee part 
had a times two at the end of it, meaning I should have built them two at a time. I had to stop and go back and make the second as I began to construct the leg. Because the sides of the base are so long and thin, I did not use pliers to bend them over. They would warp. Instead, I pushed them against the table to bend them evenly and all at once. Getting the two legs to line up to connect took some work, especially the second leg. I found it best to start by lining up the bottom tab and working the others in place from there. I had to pry out on the front tabs a little at a time while pushing the body down against the legs to get the parts to see correctly. The instructions say to twist these tabs, but there is very little room. I bent them over. Be patient and take your time. It can take a while to get these kits together and if you get in a hurry you can easily overlook something. I had to bend the tabs out slightly to have enough room to twist some tabs, thus securing the arms in place. The tabs on the underside were simply bent over and not twisted. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Bumblebee all finished and put together. This was a challenging build. This took several hours to complete. Mind you, I am taking my time more than I did before to try and get the parts right, to not get frustrated or to miss things.
but this is just definitely the most complicated transformer metal earth kit thus far possibly one of definitely one of the most difficult metal earth kits i've done there was just a lot of of weird bending and folding you start off by putting the head together and that was very complex very difficult i thought i was going to break this kit right off the bat um, just trying to get parts together the tabs a lot of them are difficult to get to and there was plenty of times where I thought I'm not going to be able to do this but I pulled it off there were a couple of instances where the directions were a little confusing or misleading I had to I didn't have to but I one of the fists these two arm pieces the lower portions of as you've seen are done at the same time they have the same part numbers what they don't really tell you is the fits, fists need to go on in opposite directions because when you attach them, that you want them to be facing out. I'm glad to finally have them done. He looks pretty cool. He'll go up and help Optimus Prime take care of Megatron. But they better get ready because Soundwave is coming soon. The video, I've made it as short as I can without chopping out too much. It's hard to say what is and is not too much because I don't want to give, not give information that would be helpful but I don't want to bore people either. And I try to make it so that you can follow along how it's going. I would record an hour's worth of footage and I'm still working on it and I'm recording another hour and take a break another hour so really not sure. I'm thinking this probably took around four hours to build. Definitely the longest one I've done. Possibly a little bit of that is due to me taking more time to make sure I get it right. But if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below. Thank you for watching. And keep on keeping on.